The most technical and demanding shoots for the Human Planet Oceans program were those that took place underwater. The dive camera crew were well prepared to film fishermen in the Philippines, but they weren't quite prepared for the dangers they witness and the friendships they'd forge. Liminangkong is home to the 80 piling fishermen that the film crew will follow. Ito po si Simon, tapos ito po si Roger, sila po yung sa ilalim ng tubig. So sasabayan nila kayo, uh, sasabayan nila kayo sa ilalim, sila yung medala ng camera sa ilalim ng tubig. Two fishing boats are crammed with 80 divers, their food and provisions before heading out for two weeks at sea. At the fishing grounds, Simon and Roger are playing catch-up as their technical underwater equipment is slowing them down. I've just dropped the line. They didn't even tell us. The captain seems to be on a real mission to prove something today, so we've got to go uh, fast. Underwater filming is risky, but these risks are nothing compared to those faced daily by the compressor divers. Compressor diving is a dangerous way to make a living. Air, often tainted with diesel, is pumped through thin plastic tubes right down to the divers. At 64, Johnning is one of the veterans on the boat and knows the harsh realities of compressor diving. Most of the divers are young and fit, and they need to be. It's physically demanding work, and the men are totally reliant on the compressor to keep them breathing. Pag yung compressor, pag mahina naman yung hangin, mahina ang bigay na makina ang ikot, mahina doon sa ilalim, masakit ang dibdib natin na paghinga. To use basically what was essentially a garden hose down at 25 meters to pump air into your mouth is just mad. The biggest danger for these fishermen is known as decompression sickness, or the bends. The bends can happen when divers have been down deep for a long time and then come up too quickly to the surface. Nitrogen is absorbed into the body, and as the divers rise up, bubbles are formed that can lodge in the joints, causing intense pain. Two guys are in real trouble on this deep dive. Martin, a young diver, is in such pain that his friend tries to relieve it by massaging him. Once on the surface, it's obvious to everyone that Martin is still in trouble. If not treated, the bends can lead to permanent injuries and even death. Meanwhile, the second diver, Michael, is also having problems. It seems like two men just came up with the bends. They went pretty deep on this dive, trying to get more fish, um, but we've taken them onto our boat to get some medical attention. So hopefully they're all right. Simon tries to relieve their symptoms with the crew's first aid supplies. One, one more set, Mr. Seven. Uh, Michael's had 15 minutes on oxygen. Now put Martin back onto another set of uh, 15 minutes. Um, and this is the, you know, the, the, the rudimentary the decompression first aid that we can give them. Um, give them oxygen, give them water to rehydrate, keep them warm. Both of them are saying that their symptoms are, are decreasing and uh, they're looking a lot more happier than they did, than they did about half an hour ago. He gives them oxygen, which helps reduce the nitrogen in their bodies and relieves their pain. But even this most basic of diving first aid is not normally available to the piling fishermen. Okay. This isn't surprising, as the fishermen in the Philippines belong to the lowest wage earners in the country, earning about 25 US dollars for a week's work. However, for many, like Johnny and his family, this is their whole way of life. Tatlo yun nandito. Tatlo yun nandito. 
mag-ingat. Hindi yung basta-basta pumunta sa taas. Yung isa kong anak, sumisid yun ng 36, di pa. Di pa, di pa. 36. Apat na oras siya doon sa ilalim. Pagbalik niya doon, natanggal niya. Bago pagbalik niya sa taas, doon siya na kuha tinamaan ng hangin. His son had got the bends and now has to use crutches. But this isn't the only time the dangers of compressor diving have hit Johnning's family. Kaya yung anak kong isa na kuwan din yun sa compressor, ayaw na niya tanggapin na nabalda siya. Gusto talaga niya na gumaling siya. Yung matagal ko na kung saan saan ko siya dalahin, kumo sa paghihirap nga ng tao, wala akong makakuha ng pera. Nung matakal na, na malapit na siya isang taon na nabalda, ginawa siguro niya para nagulo na pag-iisip niya, nagtali na lang siya ng lubid para siya mamatay. I'm very sorry about that. That's very sorry. Yeah, that's terrible. That's very really, that's really sad, isn't it? Having spent a week living and working with the compressor divers, Simon and Roger have become very close to the fishermen. To fully understand their way of life, Simon needed to experience firsthand what it's like to be a compressor diver. So Johnny is keen to take him on a shallow dive. You've seen the boys do it, they've made it look easy, but. You know, we've had several guys that have gone down with symptoms of uh, the bends. I've got to admit, I'm feeling a little bit apprehensive, actually. Simon has scuba dived for 16 years and has logged over 3,000 dives. But this is diving at its most basic. That's bad, the first minute. I got us out, uh, I was uh, a little bit petrified actually. This is a violent thing. It's just punching air down your throat. It's quite mad. It took, it took me a minute to kind of get myself under control and then once you got the hang of it, and once you believed in it and trusted it, then you could, you could swim off. times when I lost it though. Like, flailing around everywhere, trying to trying to find it again and get it back in. But uh, Johnny was uh, keeping a good eye on me and the other rest of the guys were as well. But yeah no I wouldn't want to do that for a whole whole sort of fish catching session that's for sure. A strong camaraderie between the divers has been forged. The film crew have captured a dramatic sequence and the fishermen head home happy with a boatload of fish to sell. Maganda naman yung hanap buhay katulad ng dagat, lalo na kung magkaisa ang pagsasama ng tao. Lalong maganda, lalo katulad nitong pala hanap buhay, makahuli ng marami, tuwan-tuwan na yung mga tao. Johnning and everyone on board have finished another piling fishing trip and all can return safe and sound to their families. Mm -hmm.